Hey guys, Mitsu here, and it's the start of a new AR season. This will be the first full week I record, or at least try to record in full. And yeah, so this week's bonus unit is Hinata. I have given him defense, <laughs> you could say. So he's become a bond bot. Um, he gets incredible amounts of defense once in. I mean, he has like, what, like four extra stats to his defense, I think. And then you add on um, here, attack defense bond, you add in huge fan, so he gets effectively plus 14 to his defense. So our good boy Hinata is hitting like 62 How defense when he's next to a unit. Roped into wearing this get up? <sighs> oh, poor guy. Oh well, every man has to get married at some point, doesn't he, Hinata? So, um... Yeah, he does big bigness damage, <laughs> and you can see the the the, the sad ob obstruct too. I couldn't be bothered to um, give him more SP in order to get obstruct three. It is in the list, right? The obstruct meta is here, guys. It's here. It's it's more of a joke, honestly, than anything else. I mean, I'm mostly going to be using him to reposition and, like, honestly, in the odd case where I'm usually running more frail units in the back, like mages and stuff. He can actually tank one and prevent them from coming through. And I was debating whether to give him obstruct or guard because guard would actually then prevent uh, somebody like Ellie Wood from proccing the gale force. But you know, I, I think it's fine. Not much is going to be doing a, a lot of damage to him. As far as physical damage goes, I've tested him in some modes and basically he tanks everything physical. like. Very little physical stuff doesn't damage, unless it's like true damage. He <laughs> he killed a Marita with his Ignis, so <laughs> that was fun. In any case, so, so that's our bonus unit. Um, let me introduce you to the other teams. Um, we've got my Gale Force team here. So the core of the Gale Force team it starts off with Marita, who has attack push four, uh, attack speed push four. That gives her quite a bit of speed, especially if you add on the four from Peony. This gets her up to 53. She also has um, this sort of omni, um, what would you call it? Omni solo in her weapon. So then that gives her up to like 57, I believe. And yeah, so at that point, she's doubling a good part of the cast. Now I have some friends in my friends list who aren't doubled. I hate you, by the way, but um, yeah, against most of the cast, this is good enough. I do hope to merge her at some point and maybe get a speed asset, because I do think that's her best boon, and I do want to get her to that plus speed. But yeah, next unit in is the Wings of Mercy Dimitri. Uh, he's got Fury, so that the moment he hits somebody, he gets damaged. And then he's got Savage Blow, which damages them, and if you remember, what his weapon does is that if both you and the foe are at 100% HP, or if both of you are below 100% HP, he doubles. So in that way, this sort of uh, Fury-Savage Blow combo, very common on him, works very, very well. And yeah, then we've got Peony, she's going to dance, uh, fly in with Wings of Mercy. I love Light Season for this, because you can actually do a viable Wings of Mercy strat. I wish I had a second one of her, then I would actually run this team with two Peonies, which would further boost her speed, further boost her viability, and I would have two possibilities of doing Wings of Mercy plays. So that would be much more consistent. I could also lock in units more easily, like stuff like that I do consider. So, anything else on this? Nope. Um, here, this is my uh, res uh, damage tank, basically. So she does res damage, Tiki here. Um, I killed Ossian for her because it pissed me off. He actually was the one who pity broke me on the Mila banner. I was going for reds. I wanted everything on that red banner. I didn't mind. Larcy, give her to me. Legendary Elliewood, give him to me. I don't have him. Um, who else was it? Liv didn't have an anima at the time. Really wanted him, right? So that I have some anima mythics. I pulled nothing. I pulled mostly three stars. And then at some point I was like, you know what? Let's just break the pity rate and let's see what I get. Like, I don't mind any of these except maybe Ossian. And who did I pull? Ossian. So he died immediately to Tiki. And honestly, this skill works pretty well with her. I mean, it's a sort of double guard is pointless, but you know, it gives her extra attack. It boosts her res. 
Um, this further boosts the kind of damage she can soak, which is good for her. And yeah, she is being supported by a Robin. I had intended really to replace Robin with Ifun, because I do have an Ifun with, well, both Vengeful and, um, what's the other one? Vengeful and, 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 Bold Fighter. She's got both of them in her skill set, so then I could be more flexible. But I haven't really, like, undone the support between uh, Robin and Tiki, and I haven't really considered uh, what else to do with them, so I kind of just let it be. So, yeah, for now, it's Robin still. Probably should add a thun soon because she just has way more utility than Robin. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll actually do that, like, in, in a few hours in the evening, just kind of, like, hit the two of them through forging bonds a few times with autoplay and hope that it all goes well and that they get the support. Yeah, um, 13, Bike Xena. Doesn't need much introduction, right? There's Bike. He's merged to plus five. I want more, obviously. So many people have plus 10, and I love Ike, and I think it's sad that I don't have him. Uh, Lucina is a pure support. She pushes his in, pushes him in, gives him attack and res, and yeah, um, boosts his speed, boosts his distance, uh, distant defense, and yeah, um, he tanks and heals and takes out teams. I call this anti-armor due to Marth. Um, there was also like another unit previously on here. I think I also had a Thun in this when I named this team in the week where Peony was a bonus unit, I think. So there were two anti armors, so I called it anti armor. I haven't been bothered to change it yet. I might as well call it anti cavalry because it's really an anti cavalry. Um, one thing I did want to change, and now that I look, I did something. I killed Keaton. Sorry, Keaton. <laughs> so now we have a constant uh, hero's blood once it procs. And if he's low HP, he does hella damage. So this is probably my most powerful unit. <laughs> he's going to be obscene if I get him working. Leon is here just to get rid of the annoying null C targets. Uh, sorry, so like Veronica's and whatever that, that Marth can't hit. Otherwise, that's pretty much what he does. Um, I did clear one mock battle with Leon, funnily enough, he, like, he was the real MVP, so this is partly the reason why I'm actually considering merging the two Leons I have, and then just transferring him into Light. And I will do that, I think, in the long run, because Leon in Light is just way too fragile against Thrasir, unfortunately. And then I will consider who to build. I'm. I honestly wish I still had a uh, Mirror Stance 3, actually, because I was thinking of building a Sophia, and Sophia with that skill would be pretty amazing, I think. But yeah, Sophia is like up on the top of the list, to be honest. Um, and then I just have like really bulky res-wise mages. Uh, Loot does a lot of debuffs also, and she gets further buffs when the opponent is debuffed. Um, Durga gets further buffs when her res is higher than the opponent's, and this synergizes somewhat well with loot's debuff of the opponent's res. And, I mean, not many units are going to have more res than Durga anyhow. And, yeah, she becomes also pretty fast, honestly, because she gets, um, plus three. So then, with the plus four from Peony, plus three, she's at 40. Give her some Peony support, we're talking, like, 46 speed, so she's pretty quick all things considered, especially if she then also can use the ploy in order to debuff. And just for certainty, I've got quick repost on her, and that's actually quite nice because it does mean that she can break through quite a few of the, like, um, slow unit sturdy impact plays. And I do that especially against Yunes in this season, like sometimes they have sturdy impacts. Durda doesn't care, she just powers through them usually. And yeah, so that's the sort of thought there. I think that covers all the teams. Day one, as always, is a double up. And uh, let's hope for the best. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Altina in the corner never looks good. Um, Aversa in the corner, I'm not afraid. I do think I can just smite Ike in and yeet. 
yeah yeah this 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 definitely looks like this might be like in the neat kind of situation who takes on altina um uh, bum bum I mean, if we just let Itina initiate on Ike, then Ike has no problems. And then the only one who's left is Aversa. What do we do against Aversa? Ike again? Probably. I mean, we can also initiate with Air, I believe. She should be fast enough. I really should change that S log for her. It's I never changed it from probably like a year ago, and it's really useless. So, I was interrupted, let's continue. Um, I think the way I'll do, it, I'll do it is as follows. I'll eat Ike in here with Lucina. He won't have a problem, his HP is gonna be, I think, at 69. <laughs> and so, he can he can take out Sothis, he can take out pretty much everything. I'm going to use air from this side here in order to get to the pots on this side. Um, don't I think we'll, we, we will have to take out a Versa with her, but I can see if I could. Almost likely, um, ah, a path. the tactics room could be annoying, honestly. Um, but I could probably clear that out with Ike too. Yeah, and I mean, if bad comes to worse, I can always go meme and let Hinata clear Altina. <laughs> You know what? I think I'll do that. Let's let's make Hinata clear uh, Altina, guys. <laughs> okay, you're gonna watch um, my boy Hinata get probably zero damage, is my guess, from Altina. And proc a massive bigness. So, enjoy. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. The future is not written. All right, Lucy. The future is not written. Whatever you say. Understood. Understood. Mm, maybe this way. Mm. Nope. Keep her there. A glimmer of life. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure, Hinata. I'm sure. He doubles. Oh, I love you, bike. Now just the question becomes, do I even want to? I can just break this and from there I'm not clear, but oh well. Yes. It's all for and you. Your orders. Good morning. I'll lead. Beautiful. Understood. Is that the real trap? Probably. Orders. Death's caress. Mm -hmm. You sure? What's next? Ready. Your orders. Got it. That defense stat is beautiful. So let's let's just go through it. So all of you with me. Um, plus 10. Plus 14. 62 defense. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I'll lead. The glimmer of life. Understood. Understood. Good morning. What's the turn anyhow? Woo, turn four. Easy. <laughs> oh, Hinata is actually fun. You all who are playing Mila, you have no idea what you're doing. Look what you're you missing sure? out on. Mm. Got it. Okay. It's all for you. Jokes aside. Death's caress. Mm -hmm. What's next? Let's do this. Yes. Maybe this way. Your orders. And there we go. 
Easy. And that, people, is why you want a Brave Lucina Ike combo. There's a reason why he's the most used combo. It's very, very boring, let's be honest, but it works. It's it's very easy. Okay. Lovely. Mm. I'd seen this. This is funny. So somebody saw my defense team and they just immediately gave up. So there's no replay because they just gave up. They surrendered before anything happened. <laughs> Sorry. In any case, I think that is all for today. Luckily, uh, no interruptions next time, I hope. And um, yeah, I hope it all stays this easy considering how terrible last week was. All right then, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye.